<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. We're here at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Robert Bono, who is not only the professor of cardiology at Northwestern Medicine, but he's also the past president of the American Heart Association. Bob, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Adam. Happy to be here. And as you know, we're answering your questions that were posted at our Facebook page. And Bob, this question comes in from Pamela Whitcomb. And she has a question we've never talked about here at heartvalvesurgery.com. She asks, please talk about AV block. I had a successful aortic valve uh, replacement with yes. a tissue valve in 2013. Okay. Well, AV block is a um, short way of saying atrioventricular block. It's an electrical block. So if you think of your heart, the way I tell my patients, as a car, it's got moving parts and valves. It's also got fuel lines, which are the coronary arteries. It's got an electrical system also. So your car runs because all those things tend to work together. So the pumps, the motors, the fuel lines, the electricity, and you turn on the ignition and things go okay. But any one of those things can go wrong also. And then that makes your car inoperational. Even if the motor's okay, if the electrical system's not work, working as well. So your heart works the same way. The chambers are connected electrically. That allows the atrium to contract. And when it does that, it sends a electrical signal to the ventricle, which then wakes up and contracts also. And that way the atrium and the ventricle kind of work in sync. And so that's the atrioventricular conduction system, it's like nervous tissue inside the heart that connects the chambers. So they're working mechanically because the electrical system is making them synchronize. AV block means there's been a disruption of the connection between the atrium and the ventricle. And, that, and it comes in different stages. Sometimes the conduction is slower. We call that first degree AV block. Sometimes it misses a beat or two. That's called second degree AV block. And sometimes it's completely disrupted so they're totally disconnected electrically. That's called third degree AV block. Now, the trick for you, I think, Pamela, is that you mentioned you had an aortic valve replacement. Well, the conduction system, when it runs between the atrium and the ventricle, runs right down the septum between the two uh, chambers on the right and left side of the heart and right past the aortic valve. So people who have aortic valve disease, many times if the valve calcifies, the calcium itself can begin to encroach upon the conduction system and cause a problem. That, that could be an issue in any patient with aortic valve disease where the valve calcifies, but also with surgery. Sometimes the surgeon, to delicately dissect out the valve and replace the new valve, can't help sometimes but to cause some disruption of the conduction system. Now that could be temporary in some cases, related to the surgery where you have some uh, swelling or edema um, from the surgery. Uh, that may only be uh, temporary. You may have some inflammation related to the surgery, which will be temporary. But sometimes it's not tem tem temporary. Sometimes it could be permanent. So not knowing all of the details of your situation, Pamela, uh, I can't tell you whether in your case it was something that was going on before the surgery or after the surgery. The point is it's not uncommon. Many times it, it is uh, self-limited and the heart conduction comes back to normal afterwards. Some patients do need pacemakers. The, the good news, I think, though, is if you had a successful valve replacement, your heart mechanically now is working well. We can always deal with the electricity, either with medicines or with our pacemakers and things, to make the electrical system work again in synchrony. And hopefully uh, your heart now is doing fine, having had that valve replacement. Well, Pamela, I hope that helped you. I know it really helped me learn about AV Block. And so, Bob, as always, I want to thank you for your incredible support of our community and our patients that come to you. Always have incredible things to say about you. And just thanks for your support of our uh, community. And thanks for everything you do for all of our patients, Adam. Your, your, your information is really so highly valuable for everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much.